powered by kslsports.com. Well, BYU football doesn't have a great history against ranked opponents. In fact, the Cougars have only won three of the last nine home games against nationally ranked teams. That changed today. The win over 24th ranked USC also gave the Cougs back-to-back -back wins against P5 teams for the first time since Michigan State and Mississippi State in 2016. And the way the Cougs got it done today on national television in front of a near-capacity crowd at Lavelle Edwards Stadium, that was pretty fun to watch. The start maybe wasn't so fun, though. Opening drive of the game was smooth for USC. Keaton Slovis capped with a TD toss to Michael Pittman Jr. 7-zip Trojans. The rest of the game didn't come so easily for Slovis. Kyrus Tonga with the sack for the loss of six. Three plays later, Slovis picked off by Peyton Wilgar. BYU is in business, and they give it off to the workhorse. Ty Tyson Williams. Uh, actually, this is Diane Gunwalaku who punched it in later on on the drive to uh, get BYU in the game after a Tyson Williams run. And then another interception by BYU. It's Isaiah Kafusi, and that set up this trick play. The pass to the quarterback, Zach Wilson. Goes for a 19-yard gain and a first down. Sets up the field goal for Oldroyd. It's good. And the Cougars looking nice. So we get ahead now to the second quarter. And in the second quarter, BYU gets moving here. After the Oldroyd field goal for 10-7 lead, Zach Wilson's arm goes to work. To Dax Milne, 30-yard touchdown. Cougs take a 17-10 lead. USC punches back. Vavai Maliapai with the five-yard touchdown. Tied it at seven at the midway point. It would stay that way all the way to the fourth quarter. And then Slovis goes back to his favorite receiver. Pittman Jr., a 30-yard touchdown strike in the corner of the end zone. Trojans take their first lead since the opening drive, 24 to 17. With their backs against the wall, the Cougs get going and Zach Wilson comes up big in the biggest game of his young career so far. 30-yard pass to Micah Simon here. This helped set up an old droid field goal to cut the lead to four points. Then on the next drive, Wilson back to the air. This time, he's going to find Gunnar Romney after he somehow escapes the pressure, steps up in the pocket and heaves one downfield. It's a 33-yard gain. Wilson literally takes the ball into his own hands to end this drive right up the gut. A 16-yard touchdown. BYU takes the lead 27 to 24. Now, USC didn't go down like that, though. They would connect on a 52-yard field goal with less than two minutes to tie this game up. So you know what that means. We're going to overtime. BYU had first possession. After three unsuccessful plays, they call on Old Droid again from 43 yards away. This is no chip shot, but he drills it and gives BYU the three-point lead. He made four field goals. USC gets a chance to win it, but Diane Gunwalaku is going to go home. Game-winning interception. After a review to confirm the pick, Kalani Sataki celebrating with the fans. Cougs take it 30-27 to in overtime. I can do this. If we win the game, I'm good. It doesn't matter, but I don't know. It, just, it was a lot of fun. I just Obviously, we don't want to have this be a habit, but I'll take it. No matter the score, no matter uh, the time that's left on the clock, um, this team just keeps fighting and keeps fighting. And um, it's just, it's just, uh, it's great just to be a part of a team like this. Obviously, I was just running to the ball. Like the linebacker for Vika and them, they made the play, and I seen the ball pop up. And like coach always said, tips and overthrows, we got to get them. I was actually getting like destroyed by the fans. I was taking some harder hits in there than I was in the game. So um, I tried to get out of there pretty quick. But. To be honest, I was when the crowd rushed the field. I was jumping up and down. I just tried to grab one person. I said, like, what happened? <laughs> I was like, I don't know what I would cheer for, but something happened, so I was just happy.